Letting go is hard. So what do we do with all that clutter? What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to Crystal TV, where today we are talking about letting go of the clutter. So what do you do when you just can't? let go. When it's sentimental things or clothes or the whatever it is that you are really struggling with letting go of. And I actually would like to share a little story <laughs> about a client of mine who was struggling with this. And it was really her mother who was struggling with this. She has a collection of crystal and she is, well, she's elderly and she has health problems and she's going to die soon. And her biggest concern has been what will happen to the crystal. None of her kids want the crystal. And so my client actually said, it's okay, mom, I'll take the crystal. And so she relieved her mom of this burden. But now she had the same burden that she was carrying. And really, she doesn't want the crystal. And so she was trying to figure out what really could she do to, to let go of this. And she thought she had to just donate it to the church or, you know, something. But ultimately, the goal was, for both her and for her mom, her mom had this collection because it was something that her dad bought for her all the time. She loved it. It was a much loved collection by my client's mother. And so she really wanted it to go to someone else who would love this item. And that's really the goal. Sentimental things. Her mom loved this thing and she wanted someone else to love it as much as her mom did, but that wasn't going to be her. So ultimately, her task was to find a way to release it in a way that would spark joy for her and let it let her find someone that would love it as much as her mother did. Because that's really all you can do, is you have to look at something that you want to let go of and you're just struggling to let go of it. You can ask yourself, what would what would spark joy in, in giving this away? When she had a nativity scene that her and her mother had made together, she was able to donate that to a family that absolutely loved it. They were giddy with happiness when they received that from her and that made her happy. And so when you can find a way to pass things along that spark joy for the receiver, it does allow it to spark joy for you as well. And it lets you release that in a healthy way. And so that you you don't have to remain stuck and you don't have to keep the things that you don't love. Let me know what other questions you have about clutter and decluttering and designing a space that you love in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe while you're down there so you don't miss a single video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.